Welcome back to Press to Play, your source for everything entertainment in the city. I'm Kimberly Wynn. Thank you for joining us. Now, this week, we're profiling a country music artist who travels back and forth from Edmonton to Calgary to perform. Now, why is that, you ask? Well, her fans here just keep wanting her to come back for more. Don't have to brace myself. Wish you would have been someone else. The locks of Shania Twain and the vocal prowess of Sheryl Crow. Shannon Smith craves the stage, the lights, but mostly she just wants to make good old country music. Music is a part of my family. We, uh, growing up in small town Saskatchewan, we were always allowed to uh, play in local venues and uh, hockey banquets. A lot of hockey in Saskatchewan. So I grew up on stage and it's nice to be comfortable there. Both her parents were musicians, and it didn't take long for Shannon to inherit those talents. At the age of six, she started showing interest in singing for any audience that would listen. She'd sing anything from Elvis to Madonna, and even now, no genre is off limits. We do 50s, 60s, we do a little disco, we do the 80s rock, we do dance, and then we go back to all the gold in California. So, really, I'm a believer of uh, great music. After claiming the throne to Lamley's Rising Star contest back in 2009, her gig count started to rise rapidly. She graced the stages at Big Valley Jamboree and the Calgary Stampede, but like any other country music hopeful, she's yearning for the Nashville dream. You get inspiration from that and you just come back and you want to, um, you know, bring your music, you know, up to that level and just, you know, really try to find your, your niche and who you are. Her sophomore album, I Hate Long Goodbyes, is the follow-up to her successful debut. It included five singles charting all across Canada, and mainly that's because she wrote it or co-wrote it all from the heart. The same goes for the latest album released this week. In my album, um, all, all the songs ring true to me, and uh, that's the great part of music. I can share it and put it into words that way. Never should let you with a new album, more gigs across Alberta, and a weekly webisode series. 2013 is shaping up to be one heck of a year.